have been fortunate to receive the support, love, blessings and cooperation of my colleagues in my party. He is a man who has been on the Indian political scene for over 40 years. A man of letters who was once rated among the five best finance ministers of the world. Pranab Mukherjee, nevertheless, would carry the all-rounder tag best. With an illustrious career serving the union government and even major international organizations in various capacities. And of course, let's not forget, he has been a man for all seasons for the Indian National Congress. Through the entire process that led to him being declared the presidential candidate, Pranab Mukherjee's interactions with the media have been brief. He opens up in his first exclusive interview on Frankly Speaking, from when he was told of his candidature, to what crossed his mind when he was filing his nomination, to how he views Mamtad's response to the most memorable moments of his five-decade-long career in politics. This is a Frankly Speaking exclusive. First of all, thank you very much thank for you. giving me time today. Thank you. Many congratulations on your nomination today. It's thank a big day for you. Thank you. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that uh, you're choosing to give your first interview at this very momentous time after not having spoken for, having kept your silence for so many weeks to times now. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I told you that I will give you interview at a time when I will feel it will be proper. Yes. For us it is the proper time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, there is no better time than today. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, this is a huge honor, isn't it? Completely deserved. A huge recognition after more than five decades in, in public life. How do you look upon this nomination of yours, uh, especially as you file the papers today? Frankly speaking, I consider deeply honored and at the same time humble. UPA almost unanimously, except one party, they recommended my name to as presidential candidate to Congress president. Yes. Two major supporting parties, SP and BSP, they have endorsed. Parties who are not supporting UPA government in the parliament, they have also extended support to me, parties like JDU, CPIM, Sipshena, Forward Block. To be frankly speaking, I did not expect this wide spectrum of support from various cross sections of Indian political party systems. I do not know whether I deserve that, but I can only explain to it that throughout my life I have received much more from others than I have given to them. Therefore, from that viewpoint, I do feel it is their magnanimity and their graciousness that they have extended support to me. I am deeply indebted to the chairperson of UPA, Mr. Sonia Gandhi, should, who took the initiative. All the supporting partners of UPA government and also from outside those who are not supporting. That's, that's why this is, as a political activist, I consider this is a great recognition yes, to a political activist. Uh, it's, it's incredible, isn't it, Mr. Mukherjee, that at a time <coughs> when the polity is so deeply divided, there are parties who seem to be fighting with each other to support you. I mean, I think it's incredible, isn't it, that the left, for example, is almost the unity of the left broke up on supporting you. The major left party is backing you. As you said, the JDU is backing you. The Shiva Sena is backing you. How, how is this happening? I mean, how much of this is, is for Pranam Mukherjee, the person? 
you know especially uh, in the divided political environment it, it is not possible for me to make assessment of it but i can simply explain uh, to their magnanimity and to their assessment of the political situation prevailing as sri prakash kalath has made a beautiful uh, article in the explaining that why they had to support it and given political reasons every political party nitish kumar ji and sharad jadhav ji also explained in details yes sri bal thakre has also explained and wrote in samna given the reasons but to me uh, i would say that it is their magnanimity and they have given me more than i have given to the to the others you are not canvassing really are you i mean you are not on an active canvassing i i, I do not think time. that there is any necessary because the pattern of election is such that it is the representatives of the people who will cast their votes there is a formula on the basis of which value of each voter is being determined through a complicated uh, formulation and political parties they have their representations in the state assemblies and parliament that's why it is for them to decide and normally it is expected that the party members party followers activists will follow the party's decision that's why in my uh, interaction in the morning i told that i am happily i am thanking all the political parties who have supported me i am appealing to those political parties who have not yet taken the decision i have requested them to take decision in favor of me that of course is a reference to trinamool congress and a couple of other parties are also what there. i find interesting here mr mukherjee is that as you are filing your nomination papers today the general view was that this is not a very bitter presidential election anymore the political climate in recent months has been very bitter we have seen that in parliament but strangely enough on the day of the filing of the nominations though you have a opponent it's not a bitter presidential contest is it it should be so because in our political system in a multi party political system in a country of india's size and diversity we should avoid bitterness as far as we can of course there will be divergences of the views there will be differences of opinion there will be different angularities to look at a particular issue but it is not necessary to end in bitterness i do agree that sometimes in parliament or in our political behavior it happens but uh, when there is exception it is always welcome <laughs> when were you told about uh, that you are the congress can now you see a lot happened in that period huh? I, a lot was happening in that period before you were formally declared to be the upa candidate for uh, the the presidency of india when were you told and will you tell our viewers something of what was going on behind the scenes no why it was not nothing secret it was known to everybody uh, normal practice is congress president initiates the discussion as it happened in 2007 this year also congress president started talking to the political parties first he started talking to the friendly parties uh, those who are part of the government ups partners and discussed in general terms without mentioning any name she did not throw any name she generally discussed that was the first talk then she discussed with our supporting partners then she started discussing with important congress leaders and in those in that course of discussion uh names were thrown to her were you aware uh, i know not to me names are mentioned to her as she was having interaction she told me in details on the day when uh Mamta came out after talking to her and announced that she has indicated that two names are have emerged name of vice president and name of Pranab Mukherjee and thereafter what happened you know on that night she telephoned me 
and she in telephone she told me that what actually transpired and thereafter in the next day i had a detailed discussions with her and before this process started uh, one day she mentioned to me in course of because i was explaining to her about the number she wanted to know the number which party has what strength in that connection she said that the reason for why you could not be chosen last year it continues the same <laughs> you have to do many <laughs> work uh, which i think that you should do it but let us see anyway let us discuss thereafter and i i always took the position this is an i am a party man decision is to be taken by the party leadership but uh, that is very true if if she said so that's a very true observation because while many people said and they have been saying for some time now that there's no better candidate than you for the presidency the question has always been that pranam mukherji had so many groups of ministers he has so much on his plate and presumably also on his mind can the congress can the government free him no you know, I that don't. was isn't that something that was also on your mind i mean, don't un, you i know no. you always underplay yourself uh, no no but uh, I, i i do not think so because there is there cannot be any vacuum in law of nature always the uh, vacuum is filled in individuals uh, are not important system is important therefore if we can uh, make the system functional that will be <coughs> important and that will be effective and fruitful that is my assessment is that i think the event mr bokaji last question on this part do you have any bitterness vis-a-vis what happened with the trinamool congress with with the trinamool congress 